By road, it's about one and a half miles from main campus to Shepherd University's Tabler Farm. The entrance is a gravel drive that's lined with trees and daffodils in early spring. The heart of the farm is the Agricultural Innovation Center, a cluster of recently renovated farm buildings, a greenhouse, solar panels, and other infrastructure. Shepherd University and the farm are situated in the mostly rural eastern panhandle of West Virginia. Looking east from the farm, you see the Potomac Valley, Maryland, and the northern end of the Blue Ridge Mountains. The farm's about 150 acres and it's mostly former pasture lands, but about 60 acres is in secondary forest succession. It was acquired by the university in the 1990s, but what I'm showing you in this tour is the product of only the last four years. It's the result of the hard work of many groups and individuals from within the university and also the wider community. The Agricultural Innovation Center mission is to create a regional center for education and research and sustainable agricultural practices, aiming to integrate a working farm into the natural landscape. It's become an educational asset for the university and it's already being utilized by students in the Environmental Studies academic program. One and a half acres has been fenced to keep out deer. And within this area, we plant annual and perennial row crops and have started an apple, peach, and nectarine orchard. Much of the food that's been produced at the farm to date has been sold to the local VA hospital or donated to the Shepherdtown Shares Food Pantry to help community members in need during the pandemic. 88 accessible raised beds have been constructed for a community garden and a playhouse was recently moved adjacent to these gardens to make them more family friendly. A high tunnel greenhouse allows for extended season growing. That white object you see on the wall is a Wi-Fi hotspot. Wi-Fi has been installed here and in other areas of the farm to make it more accessible and functional as a learning environment. But this also allows electronic data collection for research projects. And that's me, the drone operator, and I'm standing next to wood boxes where a mushroom experiment is currently running. Down the hill from the high tunnel is a former milking parlor that's been renovated into an aquaponics laboratory. And across the road is a smaller building we are renovating to turn into a student reading room where students will be able to work and socialize. Having a space that students can have some ownership over is one of my biggest priorities. Inside the aquaponics lab are thousand gallon fish tanks and trays for growing plants hydroponically. The fish, which are here tilapia, produce waste that provides nutrients for the plants. And the plants help purify the water for the fish. This lab is now the largest and most active on campus. Eight students were conducting research projects in this space just last semester. A six kilowatt solar array provides renewable energy to the farm, offsetting the demand for grid electricity. And tucked behind the panels is my apiary where I keep honeybees for research, pollination services, and fun. And that brings us to the end of the tour. It's an exciting time at the farm. Much hard work is now paying off for students in the community. And we are really looking forward to the post COVID era and changing focus from development to being a place where students can learn, socialize and heal the traumas inflicted by the pandemic. The future is going to be bright.